hey loves welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time here my name is day if you like these types of videos please subscribe join the lovely family join the lock fam and for those of you who have been here thank you guys so much for coming back to see me once again in today's video we are doing some lock talk some simple chill lock talk and um this video is about keeping your locks after you cut them because i know a lot of people are there you're thinking about not necessarily stopping your journey, but um, pausing your journey. I was talking to a girl last week. She had her locks for 15 years. This is in person. I feel like in person, when you see somebody with locks, you just, you know, you ask them to talk about like, oh, I love your locks, I love your locks. It was that kind of vibe. Um, she was the same age as me, and she had her locks for 15 years, and she was turning 30, and she said she wanted to cut her locks for her 30th birthday. And she wasn't too... Um, she wasn't nervous about cutting her hair, one, because she had them for so long. She just really wanted a fresh start. And two, she said that she was going to, um, save the locks and just keep them. And, you know, when she was ready to, um, install them again, she would do that. I know a lot of people do this and to be completely honest with you i really don't have an opinion for it or against it i feel like if you can keep your locks and you know you feel like you can um reinstall them later find somebody who can reattach them and kind of just pick up where you left off that is fine um obviously as long as they're clean because i know a lot of people think about locks just like you know other hair like people cut off human hair all the time and they sell it weave you know um wigs extensions like it is a thing um locks though to me are a little bit different because unlike other hair locks hold things like they don't really shed so everything that you grew within that time is within the hair it is locked in and if you don't believe me take a lock and cut one off and cut it open and you will see for yourself like if, have you ever seen the inside of a lock <laughs> i'm telling you like the inside is just everything that that you experienced in that time is in that hair and that's just on a natural level um of course if you want to get spiritual we can get spiritual and agree that everything that you experienced during that time is in that hair okay some of the partners that you've been with okay and you had them locks in your hair it's in that hair if that makes sense um if if you are are that deep into it and you know i i definitely tend to believe um things more spiritually so i want to tell you guys why i did not keep my locks i've talked about it in the past but um before this lock journey you guys know i had another lock journey and i had them um for like five going on six years and so many people, so many people was like, keep them. Don't, like, you're going to regret it. Throw them away. What's like, keep your hair. Like, what if you want them back? And I always said, if I want them back, I'll grow my hair back. Like, I'll just, I'll just start from scratch. People thought it was insane. What? Start from scratch. That's going to take forever. That's going to take years. And I was like, I'm okay with it. Because I wanted to release when when I was cutting my hair, I wanted a fresh start, and I also wanted to release that part of my life. I had my hair, my locks when I was in college. Okay, a lot a lot happened. All right, and if you know, you know. Okay, you don't. I don't even have to go <laughs> too deep into it, but like I know, I I didn't want the hair. I really did not. I didn't. I did not want to keep it. I didn't want to reattach it. I didn't want to like pick up where I left off. I just. I appreciated it for what it was. I appreciated that journey and everything it came with. I just did not think I needed to hold on to that part of my life anymore. I thought it was a beautiful time. I cherished it. I still look at the pictures, but I didn't want to hold on to that hair. Um, and it was also very important to me because um, this lock journey I started when I was married. And I only had my husband at the time. And again, I'm just talking about the spiritual aspect of it. It was important to me to have this hair just in my marriage as opposed to the previous hair that I had. I, I don't I just don't I didn't have an attachment to it to where I just wanted to pick up where I left off. Um so because of that I, I got rid of it. I did not sell it, I didn't keep it. Um and I don't think that 
that's something that you have to do like 100 if you're just here for the looks if you're just here for the vibes if you're just here for the hairstyle keep your hair like definitely keep it obviously it is the closest thing you're going to get to like lock extensions that will look like your hair because it is your hair <laughs> um so it would just be a matter of getting someone to have the same parting as you had before a similar parting system but if you're just here for the style then it really doesn't matter um i guess if you're just here for something a little bit deeper then I will say restart your hair. In addition to the fact that I didn't want to hold on to that type of hair, I also wanted to get it out of my mind that like, oh no, I can't go through a short hair stage. Like I had to give it, I had to drop that. That was so heavy on me. It, it held so close to so many like traumas I experienced as a child of like having short hair and like, oh no, like I'm gonna be ugly now. I don't have long hair. Like I had to get a grip and get out of that and i'm so glad i did because i feel like now that i've gone through that there's really not anything that i can do to my hair that will make me feel like you're you're ugly now you look a mess like there's I, if i really could shave my hair tomorrow and still have the same amount of confidence and i needed to to go through that um because i just held on to so much of my identity through my hair i'm also glad i went through that because one of my daughters she struggles with her hair like she um had eczema really bad as a child just like i did she got it for me and she used to pull her hair so much she would like just pull it out pull it out pull it out so um i we taught her she's just the most beautiful thing in the world and she is like she she's gorgeous like girl you don't need hair to be beautiful like your hair really is just like you know another aspect of something that you can control um something that you can you know put your personality into but it is not, it's very minimal in terms of like your beauty. So that really was like a part of the reason why I did not keep my locks. Um, yeah, those are just my thoughts on the topic. Of course, I've seen so many people cut the hair, save them, put them back in, cut it, put it back in. And it really was not a big deal. It's not going to look any different, to be honest. Um, as long as you have someone who knows what they're doing, it really will look just the same. <laughs> it really is just up to like what your spiritual beliefs are about it. Like if you have them or if you really are not really into that, which is fine too. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. I appreciate you guys. What are your thoughts on cutting your hair and keeping the locks? Or cutting your hair and selling the locks. That's very interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you all think. I appreciate you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.